Ugh, space ports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Class is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. It still smells better than Hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Keep in mind, Imperials aren't fond of aliens. Step out of line, and they'll notice. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were gonna say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Krista Markon. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Oh, sorry, sweetie, didn't see you there. What can I do for you? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. An all-girls hunter team. Good for you. How long you two been partners? Feels like Mako's always been there to back me up. Fantastic. It's rare to see that kind of solidarity in our business, you know? You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're gonna sort things out. Head into the main room, and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. You dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. <coughs> you heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. You expect us to hunt here, with Imperials crawling all over us? And Sith? Never met anybody who's blaster-proof. The jungles here are secluded and dark. We'll have all the privacy we need. For all you overblown, useless, no-talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. I want into the Great Hunt, and this is the only way. Then watch your back. It's not the jungles that are dangerous on Drummond Koss. It's the people. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaz. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. This is the best job in the galaxy. Ooh, I like you. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? It'll be fine. What are we dealing with here? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Why was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Valtaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. 
Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs bore me. You've got confidence. I can give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K Full Gauge Carbonite Armor Upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter. From an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And, for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the Lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like her, all right. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute, off-world scum. You're lucky to be breathing the same air as me, alien. Don't push your luck. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Everyone who doesn't want to die, leave now. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. She's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! You all right? Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that. Thing. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your, uh, brother. We, we, we had different mothers. Yes, that's right. We're only half-siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from her. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? The, uh, Lord here is wanted back at home. At home? Uh, but that means... You... you told me I was trapped here. 
that I would have to forget my family, that this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. No deals. You give me Altaka now. Oh, stop testing my patience. The only reason you aren't dead is because I'd rather not cause a scene. Making a scene is part of my job description. Defend me, my love! What? Are you insane? You killed her. Just like that. She was evil and twisted, but I did love her once. We met years ago on Alderaan. She was so dark and mysterious. And now she's dead. You can mourn her while you're in Carbonite. Oh, of course. there, Hunter. Competition out there is something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. And you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. Nobody should have to go through what that man suffered. Nobody understands why women do themselves so well in the hunts. It's the empathy. Your second bounty is a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. Hand it over, and I'll go see this Admiral Frabal. Watch yourself in that first sitting squawk. Imperials think aliens are disposable. Alien bounty hunters rank somewhere below droids. Here's the slip. For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I don't think so. I doubt the Admiral would have anything to do with your kind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Let me in there. Now. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome alien here, Admiral. It refuses to leave. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. You all right? Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. That was good thinking. Ah, yes, just so. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Drummond Cuss. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... You get squashed like a bug? An inelegant way to phrase it, but yes. 
Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. I'll handle this quiet and quick. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. <laughs>